Hi there and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's a wonderful morning. We're dressed up especially for the captain. We've taken the shield that was around here. <laughs> I think it was his shield. So let's talk to him and uh, how about the training? You know, just thought it was there for, for us, you know. That shield of Lyper. And with you, um, can I ask? Can I ask? Yeah, it would be just some small talk. I, we know he really hates us somehow, but I want to... Let's get on his good side first. Perkstein is a fine castle, Perkstein right? Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out and I can move back into my chambers. All right, that did go totally wrong. Let's ask about Capon, that cool guy we saw. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young Lord spends most of his time making merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? <coughs> so Sigismund came and then you folk. It was a fine peaceful life here. What do you think of Sir Radzik? What do you think of Sir Radzik? I hear he's on good terms with the king, probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzik seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. So, and uh, the refugees, what do you th personally think of them? You hate them, right? Or one of them, you know. What will become of the Scalitz refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick, and you lot can clear off. <laughs> Do you know anything about these Cumans? Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our Lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen. And barbarians, too. For all that they claim they've turned to Christ. Finally, about Sir Hanush. We've seen him walking down the street, too. Is he a good liege lord? What kind of a lord is Sir Hanush? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. So, seems like a good place we're Thank in. You. That's all I wanted to know. Let's go for some basic training, training, right? <coughs> yes, hear that boy Sir Radzik said. Yeah, let's... Let's not complain. Now, if he thinks we're a boy, then we're a boy. We don't care. That'll be me. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Yeah, I've got that mace. <laughs> but a good idea. Let's start with the basics. I mean, we've just killed some never do wells, but. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. All right. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly and keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Good. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Okay, okay. Uh, so stabbing at the face or at the body. Lower ah, zone and lower ah, zone, good. middle zone, whatever ah, zone. We got you. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Oh, we forgot moving. Now, let's try something more complicated. Oh, he's One dancing strike, here. I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Okay, so we want to. Move around. 
Ah, oh, we're a little bit out of breath. Sorry, man. Oh, God. Ah, that's it. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Ah, hold court. Good. No, not. Okay. Oh, oh God! Oh, wow. Not bad. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Not Ouch! Right, oh, 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 oh. Wrong. Very. Not like. No, I get. No. Um. All right. Oh. 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 Very well, then. Stop, Let's see what you're please. Made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. I'm not sure. Ah, he's attacking. He'll kill us. <laughs> Go. Oh, that guy is good. enough uh. if you're not a complete dead loss it'll be hard work to turn you into a master but you have the basics let's try something more advanced when in combat keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent that is your space try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time if I'm holding the sword raised up do an uppercut if my sword is low lunge let's try it you strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword good no, that's not very good. Right, okay. lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Yeah. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Okay, okay. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Ouch. Ouch. Too soon again. Too soon? Ah. Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Ah. Not like that. <sighs> Again! We blocked it, come on. Good! Okay. Alright! 
Ugh. Wrong again. Ouch. No, not like that. Ow. No. Ow. No, again. It's not the perfect block I raised. Now. Nice. Okay. Ow. Not bad. Roughly in the same right, zone. Now then. we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Not bad. Well done. Ah. Well done. <laughs> Good. Ah. All right. <laughs> good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Ouch! Oh my god! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Did we even... Ah! Uh. Ow! Captain Bernard! Ouch! Wait a while, Henry. <laughs> oh, who did? Hey there. Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, Blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, Blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Ow. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Okay. <sighs> oh, quickly! <sighs> Look <laughs> at that guy. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. No! Ah. Wrong! Again! Oh, how can we dodge? How can we dodge? I have no... Jump? Space. Yeah, I wanted to... to... to jump. Block is Q. Well then, um... I'm not really... Nice! Uh, we did do that, okay. Very good! Ah, uh, that's it! Okay, okay, but I... Try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. All right. Ah! <laughs> Not bad. Nice. I think that's the better method for us. Ah! Ow. That blocking thing. Ouch. All right. 
And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Okay... Ugh! Very good! All right, uh... What's going on? Yeah! Good! Wah. Nice! Okay, I see. Ugh! Nice! Yeah. Not bad! Ugh. No! Ugh. Well, Ugh. That, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Can you please look at me when you talk to me? It's okay. You're Don't a superior, yet. right? The Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Archery? Okay. Ooh. Um, yeah, we have that thing. Let's equip it and uh, the arrows. Where was that range? Oh, a nice look. He didn't say anything about the shield. Where's the archery range? Huh? Huh? Not here, eh? Where we stole the apple? Oh, um, yeah. Got some food. By the way, yes, we could use the apples. Cooked apples now. Yum. Dandelion. Some sage. And oh, where, where, where is he? Oh my god, he's... Hey there, ah, uh, wait for me. <laughs> I'm just right behind you. It's all good. Vincent, who are you? My respects to you. Ah, uh, seems like you're not that well. Margrave Jobst of Moravia. He's cousin to King Wenceslas. Now there we go, to the archery range. Oh, there's some nettles. And now, let's shoot, right? Mm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. Okay. Talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement, the arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. 
Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. All right, then. Uh-huh. Uh we'll draw our bow. We'll hold and release to shoot. Ah, ha! missed it. That was terrible. Uh, it was closer. <laughs> oh God! Okay, three times. <laughs> well, that was miss. awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sivanov. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Oh my god. Getting Anywhere? ourselves into trouble. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? <laughs> I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Oh god. Shoot seven arrows, bullseyes with three points, second ring two, and outside ring one. Best not delay, okay. Did we even hit anything? No. We've got a long way to go. This is terrible. That was close, maybe a little bit more here. Hey, we nearly hit that. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Congratulations, Sir Hart. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more reminding? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. A sword fight. <laughs> well, um, hey, uh, wait, we're ouch. Actually, why don't we have a sword? No, ah, uh, now we have a sword. Ouch. <laughs> Oh. oh, he's killing us, man. Want more? Killed by Hans Capon. Can we ah, oh, can we quit this somehow? Well, I did. 
<laughs> Can we somehow give up, please? <laughs> no. A second defeat, blacksmith. You still have a lot to learn. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. You owe me now. I hope you keep your word and bring me coin when you have it. Uh, <laughs> this is terrible. <sighs> Everything's ruined now. The Waffen Rock is destroyed. We have no money. Welcome to our world. Hey, uh, Bernard. Don't fret about it, lad. Lord Capon is a good swordsman, and if by some fluke you actually won, well, you might not take it so well. Now go to the Rathaus. House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Whoa. We need something else before that. And get rid of that stuff here. Wow. Everything we have is basically ruined. <laughs> oh yeah, the shield. Report to the bailiff. Mm, rather not. Rather not. We'll have to train more. We see that now. I personally have to train also with a <laughs> with a gamepad because with a mouse this is a <laughs> this is a nightmare. I've tried it with a mouse. It was no problem against these bandits. But against these guys, I don't know. It's absolutely impossible. Someone here? No? Yes? Maybe? Anyone? Hello? Anyone here? Maybe it's not easy enough for us yet. Mm. Only the chickens knew. What's going on here? And who are you? The Broken Wheel Inn. That sounds pretty interesting. Do you know something about... God be with you. ...things of Rattai? Anyone? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Mm. No one I can think of. All right. Can we wash ourselves? We look terrible. Are you an alehouse maid and you? I've discovered lodgings. Are there also people here in the in the house? Ooh. The broken wheel in Hmm. <coughs> There's something here, eh? Everything okay? 
No one's watching. The chickens were watching. Bandage, bludgeon, dog skin. Hmm. Not like a bandage stuff. That's enough. How about, well, our health is quite okay, so we don't actually need the bandages. Something to eat though. Oh. Anyone here? No. There we've got the spade. Let's steal one. And we need torches. Eight torches. I'm sure that's a little bit much, right? Let's steal four. We don't need more. We've got a spade now. <laughs> that was easy, right? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. We'll come back later. We can't run now. Uh, that's a little bit terrible. What is so... What is so hard here? Tournament arrows? Not really, right? What is so hard to carry? Spade of embraces. Uh... I don't know. The old boots are pretty much finished. Green shirt, padded quaff. Yeah, we've got we've got too much with us. It's just like that. Got some apples. It's going so quickly and all the all the herbs also need their Uh, let's go into the city and then we'll see if we can sell some of our flowers. Maybe not all of them. Wow, Mr. Capon really, really ruined us. <laughs> ruined our clothing. Ah, well... Let's get in there, get to a trader and see what we can do. We'd love to have a horse too. Maybe there's some horse without a rider standing around somewhere. Let's wash ourselves. Pretty sweaty now. Talking about that horse... Hmm, that's maybe a little bit too much. Hmm. Well, the blacksmith, maybe he... Well, he can repair some stuff, but will he buy herbs? Probably not. I need to go closer to the marketplace. Find out some things. And maybe we should go visit Theresa.
all the really heavy stuff. Ah, uh, no, we cannot pick this nettle too. Yeah, look at that. Here one would buy things, right? Herbs, eat things, stuff. Some more herbal equipment. Jesus Christ be praised. And you too. Will you buy some stuff from us? Trader has 40. Well, hmm. And he'll buy the apples. Okay, it's a start. Let's add the apples to the basket. Um, you get one for the apples. Yeah, well, let's let's hack them. Then. Can we do something about the price? Sure. Why not? And uh, so we want that. What do you say to this? It'll take more than that to persuade me. Will it? Okay. Very well. I agree. We had to try. We had to try. Um, and now... Are you a trader? No, a townswoman. That trader maybe. Maybe you. Will you trade anything? Hmm. Not really that much, and you? They only want the schnapps. I guess we have to leave here to, to the through the gate. And then what is that here? Well, don't know. Or can we ring the bell here? No? Ah. Oh. So we need to practice sword fighting, like a lot, or we're going to be terrible still at it. We also need to go back to the miller. Hey there, uh, are we hungry? Not at all. It's all good. Oh, look at that. Mmm, the Piotas. You can make schnitzels out of these fungi. Tasting pretty great. Hmm. And they are carrying water? Or no, they are carrying nothing. There's nothing in these... Hmm. Yeah, and now we're broke, just because we wanted to play dice. <laughs> Let's go back to the middle. We should be should be okay with that. Let's also look do we have gained something? Look at that. We've gained some vitality and some charisma. Have we? We've got some combat skills now in defense and warfare. And with sword we can oh we can learn something. 
stabs slash slash the blunt strike. Instead of a started strike from the right, strike unexpectedly at the opponent's face. Turn your weapon around his and strike him quickly with a blunt end. If you have a shield, use its edge for striking. Aha. And that Zornort Wrath Strike. With a rapid Zorn howl from the Ox stands, parry the opponent's strike to the side from your left shoulder and thrust the point straight to his chest. What? What? <laughs> I think we might go blunt strike, so stab slash slash, we'll try that. Let's learn that. Some tricks. People in here. Are we at the mill yet? Not yet. Hey, Theresa, we've got some flowers for you. Can you give us a horse for them? <laughs> the kingdom for a horse. Except we have no kingdom. We don't even have a coin with a king on it. So uh, that's how we return. Battered, beaten, without money. Hey, Theresa, are you in here? Hey, good evening. Oh, um, I'd like to I'd know. Like to know. Who's this Hans Capon? Who's this Sir Hans Capon? Capon. He's actually the real Lord of Retay. And Sir Hanish is only his guardian, because Sir Hans is underage and his father is dead. Folks say he's a spoiled young pup with an eye for the lasses. What do you think of the Lord here, Sir Hanish? He comes from the glorious line of the Lords of Lipa. Folks say he's a bit hot-headed, but he took us in, so he must be a good Christian. That's all. Yeah, how about a little walk? What are you up to? How would you like to, um, I don't know, come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. It's All not you, Hal. Right. It's just this isn't a good time. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what they always say, right? <laughs> this isn't a good time. What has time got to do with it? Hey, Miller. We haven't got that thing you wanted. We have actually nothing. Where did we sleep? Again? Did we sleep here? I'm... I'm really... Really don't know. I think we slept somewhere here. Yeah, here. Let's go to our chest. Put some of the stuff in there. How many do we have? 25. I mean, we can carry that around, right? Um, we want to put some stuff in there. Maybe most of our uh, of our herbs. Uh, maybe that and uh, that. So many nettles again. Uh, now we've moved it all. Okay, that's a bit much, maybe. 
Uh, let's take the green shirt. Let's take the hunter's gloves. The lepiota. Okay. I want the shield, the mace. The lockpick. Some marigolds, like five of them or six. Some mint. Let's take some nettles, will we? That. Red scarf. Um, spade. And some of the St. John's. Thistles, really? Three Groschen. <laughs> the arrows, not really. Maybe some poppies. Whew. A travel mile also. unclothed we are green shirt we need hunter's gloves old boots red scarf tight olive hose we're not looking too bad everything is ruined though hmm So what to do now? Picking some flowers is maybe getting old. We should probably explore a bit. Oh. After all that city stuff, it's time. It's time to go back to nature. Find out something about this place and the place around that. Look at that, we can cross the river here. That looks fun. That looks fun. Can we now? Yes, it, it looks like it. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. Next time, we'll try cross the river here and... Uh, oh, there's a chest. Maybe we should inspect that thing too. Happy gaming to you. We'll see each other again soon.